It was probably one of the most important bombing missions of the war. Not only was it the most famous, but it was the most important. See, the early part of the war, the Japanese were, uh, uh, was, what you say, kicking butt everywhere. You know, across the Pacific, the English and Americans were suffering terrible defeats to the Japanese everywhere we'd encounter. So Roosevelt you know, demanded a, uh, a, a, a mission against mainland Japan. And it contacted Doolittle then, you know, who at that time would be like talking to Chuck Yeager today. You know, here's a, one of the most famous aviators of his time, who had come back into the Army Air Corps as a lieutenant colonel. You know, he's probably the only general in the, in the Air Force that ever was never a colonel. I talk to some high school groups sometimes, and I'll stand in front of them and say, okay, these guys were all your age, your high school seniors. They were your age, 18, 19 years old. Some of them maybe 20, I look at some that have been there a couple of years. But <laughs> so they're your age. Man stands up in front of you and says, you look to your right, look to your left. We're looking for volunteers. Dangerous mission. You're going out of the country. One of you probably will not come back, if not two of you. But we still, it's important. Every man in the room volunteered.